1140. But I got to get to the other big news here in the NBA. Uh, Donovan Mitchell, according to Adrian Wojnarowski, is now available, Rami. Uh, doesn't surprise me. As a matter of fact, this morning, about five or six hours ago, I tweeted out, I saw a story in The Athletic where the GM uh, of the Jazz was was talking to The Athletic and said, well, you know, we don't have we don't have the intent to trade Donovan Mitchell. And it brought me back to Pete Carroll saying, we don't intend to trade Russell Wilson. And then literally like days later, Russell Wilson was traded. So when I saw that comment from Justin Zanuck, who's the GM of the Jazz, I said, oh, intent's an interesting word. So Mitchell is available. Uh, of course, Utah, Danny Ainge, he's looking for a lot. Danny's always looking for a lot. What do you make of Donovan Mitchell? Uh, how much interest would you have in Donovan? If I'm if I'm a team seeking out like that dude for my basketball team, I'm not sure Donovan Mitchell is that dude. Do you mm. think he is? Do you think he's like like suit like top five, top ten player in this league, or or could still ascend to that? Because I don't know that I don't know that he is. And I'll go back to the Rudy Gobert trade again. He's, I think he's a better, more impactful player and and a brighter star than than what Rudy Gobert is. But if if he's so, if he's worth four first round picks, what are you giving up for a Donovan Mitchell? And is it going to be worth that bounty that you're going to give up to get that guy? It's 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 like what we're talking That's about with Andrew question. Wiggins, but on on yet another level. That's you know the what question I mean? because right now, the rumor is the Knicks. Like immediately, people. Well, they're are, stupid, so but they're got, they're gonna bing overpay. Bong, bing bong. But they've they've got eleven first round picks. They've got eleven future first round picks with all the trades they made on draft night. So they've got tons oh, of man. picks. How do you screw up eleven first? Because they will. I'm just wondering how do you <laughs> screw up eleven first round? Picks? James Dolan will find a way. <laughs> Ultimately, the question is: Look, who do you deal? It's not just going to be picks. If Danny Ainge says, "I want R.J. Barrett and four picks." If you do that, how much better are you? If you move Barrett off of that team and you put Mitchell there, you're not much better. You're a little better. I'm sure New York would love to trade Julius Randle. I don't think there's any way Danny Ainge is taking Julius Randle unless you give him like eight unprotected picks. No. I don't think that's happening. So that is the question, Rami. Like I would I would actually believe, you know, the Heat. The Heat makes more sense to me than the Knicks. You can trade Tyler Hero and Fat some picks. Fat Joe said he's not going to That's the right. We're going to get Fat yeah. Joe on the phone. Yeah. Uh, that would make more sense because you could argue, you know, Miami is kind of talking about this Kevin Durant thing. Miami would be seen as, uh, you know, a team that can contend with, you know, even if you trade Tyler yeah, Hero and he, another piece. He might, he might, because that's a team that's close enough that he might put him over the top. You know what I mean? That That's a team that has gotten pretty close to the mountaintop without that true number one superstar. So maybe they don't need as they don't, maybe they don't need a KD or a Giannis or a guy in, in that tier of superstar. Maybe a Donovan Mitchell does the job for Miami. And if he does put him over the top, then the asking price, whatever it might be is worth it for Miami. I just don't know how many Miamis are out there that are that close yeah. that they only need a Donovan Mitchell. I agree. That's I think, what makes it difficult. I think most teams that trade for Donovan Mitchell are going to be trading for him and hoping that he is, you know, at least a Jason Tatum type. You know what I mean? Like that next wave of superstar. And I don't think he is. All right, I want to continue getting your reaction on Andrew Wiggins. Would you be in on the player? Also, uh, how does the Utah Jazz putting Donovan Mitchell up on the trading block affect the Kings? Does it? And... A highly scientific ranking system says Kings fans are happy. We'll discuss that coming up next. Cattles and Rami. Cattles and Rami. Sat